Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we talk talking about multiple snowstorms and some extreme winds. So before I do get started, if you do like weather-related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. All right, so let's get started. First, let's kind of take a look at the uh, snowfall, some, some snowfall totals. Over the last uh, 24 hours, on the back side of the system, we've had some lake effect snow going on in places of these like corner orange shaded areas. Look at Lake Erie, around Lake Erie, 13 inches of snow, and it's been kind of sporadic, but even Pittsburgh, places like Pittsburgh picked up more snow yesterday after they already have been 16 inches ab above average for this year. And we've had some sporadic snows into uh, into the Tennessee, going into uh, up upwards into Virginia into uh, West Virginia, and these kind of spread it into uh, Western uh, Pennsylvania, but predominantly around the lake, we picked up some good snowfall totals, and you can kind of see the graph here, anywhere from 13 inches up to six inches in some, in some heavier spots. So yeah, there's been sporadic snow showers in the Northeast on the backside of these systems, and that actually will continue uh, today, bringing some more lake effect snow and then sporadic snow showers uh, inland. So let's kind of take you through the vorticity index. And these are kind of spokes of energy I've kind of depicted of kind of where these energy sources are going to be and kind of set the stage uh, throughout the week. So what we're taking a look at is later on this afternoon, this is Tuesday afternoon on uh, the 19th, we've got this upper level energy kind of building into the Baja of California. And you can see these little spokes of energy trying to swing across bringing in some of that gulf moisture and that'll draw in some colder air around this low and that'll set the stage for some snow showers starting to break out into the four corner state as this low kind of gets its act together and starts bringing some rain into uh, texas and parts of the south but you can see the jet it's bottled up well to the north the colder air is as well to the north and and you kind of see the winds, how you've been getting some of that lake effect snow uh, coming across the Great Lakes, coming across, uh, getting into, uh, you know, the mid-Atlantic regions and parts, parts of the Northeast. And that's where they've been seeing some of that uh, snow showers. As we kind of extend the view into Thursday, you can see this low really doesn't go anywhere because it's kind of been trapped. I mean, we're kind of in a, a, a bottleneck mechanism going on. And this is just going to send spokes of energy, you know, for over the next several days, bringing, you know, rain showers down to parts of the south and to Texas, going into parts of uh, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi. Alabama getting into Georgia. So that's going to just kind of send some waves of rain as some colder air tries to enter the picture, bringing some below average temperatures now for parts of the Northeast as these little clipper systems kind of pull through uh, later on the week on Thursday. So by Saturday, we have yet another system kind of diving down into uh, from the Northwest that'll actually draw in some, some some colder air it's it's subtle but some definitely some colder air tries to uh, starts to push further south especially into uh the north northwest uh, but you can see the jet it's pulled way up north here so this is where the cold air is as well to the north and you can kind of see where the jet is the 540 line all this is essentially above you know below freezing all this is above freezing down to the south this would be by Saturday. So as we continue the view by Monday, you can kind of see this main energy source still continues to push further south, drawing in some of that colder air. The jets, the jet stream starts to dip by then. So by then we start should seeing some uh, snow showers extending further south into uh, the heartland of the country going into uh, the, you know the midwestern states and then kind of tra traversing across and then you can kind of see by wednesday i kind of stopped it here to kind of see where you're kind of where you're at and where it kind of settles here's the jet i mean it's pretty evident of where this is this is kind of like your 540 line that would be basically anything to the south this week would be predominantly all rain of this line. Anything north would be cold enough to allow it to uh, snow. So that's kind of like your kind of more or less like kind of your snow line uh, for for this upcoming week. So let's kind of take you through the to the next uh, seven days. First, that pressure gradient you saw back on 
what's happening now. We've got some really dominant high pressure out well out the Pacific with that low starting to dig in off the Baja. We have another extreme pressure gradient going on and that's going to bring unfortunately some very high winds to uh, California where they've got numerous high wind warnings and uh, watches and warnings going on right now with these Santa Ana winds. It's been very dry, so they got high fire danger in that area today. And these wind gusts could be pretty extreme. I mean, look at that 87 miles an hour gust later on today. This is the high resolution model for later on this afternoon. So these, these are kind of depicting some sporadic, you know, 50, 60, and upwards, some 80 plus mile per hour wind gust. Uh, in dealing with those dry vegetation. So this is not a good setup for this area of the country. But unfortunately, that's what's going to be on the table uh, later on today. So as we kind of take a look at the surface maps, that first initial low, this is take you back to Tuesday now currently, that first initial low is going to drop off the bar of California. That's going to tap into some colder air, and that's going to set the stage for some some snow showers breaking out in the Four Corners region. So places like Flagstaff, you're going to be picking up some snow from this. Places northern uh, New Mexico and southern Colorado. I'm not expecting anything in, like, say, Denver, but some of the higher elevations, especially south of uh, the main metroplex, is going to be picking up some snow uh, from this pr pr predominantly low pressure. And you can see the surge. We're going we're to have a gulf surge sporadic all throughout the week, just sending impulses, impulses of, of moisture and tropical feed down to the south and kind of accumulating uh, over time. And you can see the flow. I mean, look at the look at the freeze line up, 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 up to the north where the, the, the snow line particularly is or the colder air. That's going to still bring the winds kind of traversing across from the northwest and bring in again sporadic snow showers from the areas that have seen snow uh, just yesterday. And so as we kind of take you through time, this will be Wednesday now. You can see that low pressure really just not go anywhere, but it'll just send, start sending spokes of energy traversing across the deep south. So you're, you're going to be starting to feel the effects of this uh, energy source with some rain showers, just kind of daily rain showers. And then look at the look, look above. I mean, look, this is where the, the colder air starts to starts to kind of starts to penetrate in further south. But a lot of the Arctic air is still bottled up well, well to the north. As we kind of continue the view on Friday, you can see this freezing line now starting to dip. So that's when I do feel by Friday, you're going to start seeing below average temperatures now for uh, parts of the of the northwest. So these these snow showers, these kind of sporadic snow showers are going to continue. But we start to take a look at to the, the northwest. We're going to have that secondary low starting to push from the northwest and that'll tap in and draw some colder air down down to the northwest so that's going to set the stage for some below average temperatures and into the west and that'll bring the freezing line down further south as well so as that extends further south and as this surge continues to push from from the southwest that'll break out some snow showers by saturday into parts of Utah, getting into uh, northern uh, Arizona by then, getting into uh, parts of Wyoming. This will kind of spread in, into the Dakotas as it's tapping into some of that colder air. You can look at, the, look at the freezing line. It's starting to push a little bit further south now. And then as we continue to the day into Sunday, this is when I think we're going to have, again, tapping into some much colder air this this low pressure from the northwest will start to bring the snow line a little bit further south so places like vancouver start to maybe see some of the transition from a kind of a rain now to a snow and this will kind of filter in down in parts of the the, the northwest getting into washington and oregon and then even places like say portland by then maybe sunday or monday might start to see a little bit of changeover into some snow and this will kind of traverse across uh, throughout the week so here's the Here's the this, this setup uh, along the central part in the Midwest areas by then. I do feel like uh, the Green Bay game coming up on Sunday are going to be some snow showers around. So they're going to have to be dealing with that. But that's that's kind of how they like it in Lambeau. So it should be a, 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 a good game to watch uh, coming up on uh, Sunday. But as this continues into Monday, this will start to deepen. I mean, look at the colder air starts to press further south. So the freezing line continues to push south. The surge of, of moisture from the Gulf 
just continues. I mean, this is all the way to Monday now. So now this is Tuesday. So we're talking six days of just kind of sporadic scattered showers in this area. And this low will finally be on the move. And as this finally gets, gets its act together, starts to lift north, that'll start tapping into some more Gulf moisture. And then we start could see in some heavier rains and even some stronger storms by then we could be dealing with some flooding issues uh, down to the parts of the southeast but look at the freezing line this will kind of traverse across so you should start to see more snow showers into uh, minnesota uh, iowa into wisconsin and michigan and this will probably continue to push off into the mid-atlantic by uh, next tuesday as this system kind of sets the battleground so well this will be kind of again another fight as this surge of moisture lifts lifts uh, from the southwest and as this cold air starts to press you know where is that exactly is the freezing line is going to set up or is going to set the stage for maybe a rain or a snow but this will kind of give you an idea of where this snow may may fly across uh, uh you know the mid-atlantic uh, areas by that time as again more colder air starts to press on, on on the back side and again as we take you deeper in the day on tuesday this would be a week from now we saw where that line kind of traversed across with the jet so that'll kind of give you an idea of where this snow line particularly might stop at and anything to the north would be predominantly a snow event and it's it's unquestionable if, you know if we could have a big snow event from for the northwest we are going to have a lot of moisture that's no question how much of this colder air is going to be around by then to tap into and you can kind of see the freezing line but i do feel there's going to be a, a, a fairly sizable event uh for this area as there's going to be more moisture uh get, going to be able to work with uh so it's too kind of too far out to go any details as far as like snowfall totals or what have you but there's definitely going to be plenty plenty of uh, uh precipitation uh to work with as this gets into uh, the main atlantic and goes into uh the northeast by then so i hey i appreciate you guys uh watching uh do like this video definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where i protect you before and after the storm